Can you whistle with one finger? <laughs> <laughs> but apparently Akshay Kumar can. Stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And I'm Paul Tony. It's the comments. Good job. Juicy content. It's so juicy. And uh, thank you for watching us on Patreon. I'll follow us on official Twitter account. Also, if you like American reactions, go to our 2.0 channel. Yep. There's American reactions over there. There will also be a Joker movie review over there. Sometime this week. Thursday. <laughs> uh, but today we reacted to a trailer that it dropped a couple days ago. Sorry we didn't get to it. We didn't film over the weekend. I apologize. But it is called... Uh, it's Loading. That's what it's What called. a weird name for a trailer. Yeah. It's Loading. It's Loading. Jellicatu. <laughs> <laughs> Corbinized. Uh, that's what it should be called. Jellicatu. Jellicatu. You're going to love this new movie. It's called Jellicatu. What is it? Uh, Jellicatu. The official trailer. No. What's it called, though? I think it's... Jolly Katu. Jolly Katu. And I believe it's a... Jolly Katu. Malalium? Malalium, yep. Uh, cool. A Malalium uh, trailer? Yep, yep. Here we go! Great sound already. Yeah. And the bottling the Wow, <laughs> 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 So that, that took a turn at the end. It's about a cannibal? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, okay, really cool trailer, like stylistic great wise. Trailer. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, Sound was great. Everything about that good was gorgeous. commentary on it. Uh, it was kind of similar to, like, uh, remember Super Deluxe trailer? Where I had the, and they, they kept repeating the thing. Yes, yes. It felt similar in, the, in that aspect to it, not a similar type no, of thing. No, yeah, totally different film. Um, but, okay, I got the idea up until that ending part. I got the idea that something was going on, I thought it almost had to like a poaching. game, uh, almost like a game or poaching. It was one or the other. It had to do with hunting, so maybe they were doing. And obviously, because they're they're hunting at night, that's a no no anywhere. So they're poaching uh, or playing a game with the animals. That's a hunting game, or maybe it's a tribal thing. I don't know. But the very fact that we see that at the end le leads me to believe. Like, there's been concepts of both stories and movies where. A human being is hunted and it's like part of their punishment mm -hmm. so like they commit a crime and then they're let go and people hunt them for sport but I don't think that was for sport no I it, think they're gonna eat them it's almost like Hunger Games but like 
and cannibalized. It's eaten. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's Hunger Games, but Hunger Games cannibalized. Uh, uh, what does the title mean? I don't know. You're gonna have to let us know. A portrait of a remote village where a buffalo escapes and causes a frenzy of ecstatic violence. I didn't. I didn't get the buffalo. Yeah. Uh, and what happens? They go hunting for the buffalo, and then guys just get out of control because they think I want to see what a human tastes like. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. God bless you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I have no idea what that what that even means. Because uh, ninety minutes, man. It's real fast. Uh, I'm gonna look up the meaning of it. Maybe it means buffalo. <laughs> Maybe it means cannibalism. Jelikatu, also known as Eru Thazuyathu, I'm assuming that's Malalium, and Marju Varatu, is a traditional spectacle in which a bull, such as the Puikulam or Kangiam, breathes, is released into a crowd of people, and multiple uh human participants attempt to grab the large hump of the bull's back with both arms and hang on to it while the bull attempts to escape. Participants hold the hump for as long as possible, attempting to bring the bull to a stop. In some cases, participants must ride long enough to remove flags on the bull's horns. Uh, it's, pr it's practiced in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu as part of Pongal celebrations. Hmm. Uh, I don't love that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're not talking about this specific thing. We're talking about the film itself. Uh, and that does, it look like it had like a cannibal aspect to it, not a... Yeah, it looks like it's this thing gone horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. Yeah. Well, wronger than it already is. Right. I don't like using animals for anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's not, I'm, for sport. Yeah. For entertaining I, I, purposes. Yeah, I don't, yeah, entertainment. Yeah. Because uh, you don't have a problem with people horseback riding. Not, if, the, like, if it's a personal horse, not like, I actually have a problem with like, like carnivals that have pony rides. Oh, and, I don't like that very much. That yeah, where stuff. they're on the chain and they're just walking in circles. No, uh, no, no. I'm talking. You go out to the thing and you get your horse yeah. and you go for a ride. Yeah, no, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind because that those horses actually enjoy that and that's like what they want to do. Absolutely. But, um, like you like or for or for labor, like oxes used to plow. Yeah, that's you know. Yeah. Um, but the the concept looked really interesting of it because it was, if it's this concept of a film with cannibalism. Yeah. And I, let's just talk about the quality of the cinematography and everything on that. Yeah. I, I just... This is one of my favorite things about India and, and the world we live in. Mm -hmm. But people in America, we have been so guilty of thinking that we are just the cat's meow when it comes to everything, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And that if it's... if it's Little do they know mm -hmm. that in a regional film... Because obviously, if it's not coming out of Bollywood, most everybody in the world isn't paying attention to it. And most people don't pay attention to Bollywood either. Most people don't even know that there's they don't anything even, other than no, Bollywood. Don't even know there's anything else going on. And something that has this this good of a trailer, this quality of visuals. Oh, yeah, the visuals were spectacular. Incredible. It just it, And it, I don't it, know, I don't recognize the director. Her name is, or his name is, I don't know if it's a boy, a guy or a girl. It's a guy. Uh, it's a guy. Uh, I, th I would I would presume it's Lijo, not Lijo, but it, but his middle name's Jose, so maybe Lijo Jose Pelisseri, which maybe is a combination of both Hispanic and Indian maybe. descent. But the, yeah, the visuals on this as a director are really beautiful. Is uh... Garish Gangadharan? Yeah, he did. Uh, did he do Solo, like American Solo? No. No, that's a different solo. That's a Malalian one, I'm, I'm assuming. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah, the quality... This gets me so excited about just the depth and richness of cinematic culture like if in the India. story is as cool as this, and it, it's not about, you know, animal abuse. Because um, yeah. I do have a problem watching that. On, no, on I bet it is. And I, I, don't, I don't think you have a problem. Like, for example, if they did a film like... For ex this is a good example. The Deborah film. They... Part of that had the running of the bulls. Yeah. I don't like the running. Yeah, they do it. Right. But yeah. I get it. When they're involved in I, something that's a cultural thing and you do, you, you I, incorporate that into your story. I still stand by the fact that uh, I want films to be told even if it's not a good story. I, I enjoy those. Yeah. I, I, I enjoy film. Right. So I'm not, I'm not saying films like this should be made, but I just, I hate seeing, like, just of like, you, know, you hate seeing rape scenes. Exactly. And all that kind of stuff. I yeah. Just, 
And sometimes it's necessary for the story, right? And you got to have it. Right. It's just I hate seeing it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm I'm really interested. Yeah. In this. So am I. I would totally see this. Totally film. see 100%. this. Hundred percent. Uh, and it looks really good. It's a fast runtime. It's a crime story. That's weird. It, yeah. Uh, and it looks like it's edge of your seat and and a little macabre and creepy. Comes out October fourth. Yeah. So what? This Friday? Gee whiz. October's loaded. Why would you come out this Friday? This is not a good time to release a film. This is not a good time. Unless to... you're a monolithic thing like the war, the war, yeah, sci sci yeah. Rock. yeah the, this is or wow, Joker. <laughs> not a good time to release a lesser known film. Yeah, I would definitely have released this a different. <laughs> well, you know what? Their their intent may have been we just want to. This is released for the Millennium people community community. Yeah, yeah. and they'll they'll. They'll pay attention to it. We don't care about the other, which I get. That would make sense. But yeah, let us know what uh, other cultural things we missed out on because I'm sure there there were a bunch. Uh, but yeah, and anybody who knows about this and can enlighten us as to what this probably is. It, it didn't say it was based on true events, but if it is, well, yeah. it's based on a true uh, a true thing that a true thing that happened thing that takes place. Exactly, a true uh, event that takes takes place. A sport, but yeah, that uh, looks great. Yeah, <laughs> looks really good.